I like to do an initial cleaning with Simple Green and then I like to do a secondary cleaning with Glass Cleaner. I prefer CRC but Windex works just fine and so does isopropyl alcohol. I don't know that either chemical works better than the other. I prefer CRC because it does not contain a dye and it's not as flammable as alcohol. I prefer regular kitchen paper towels to blue shop towels because they're more flexible and scrub the nooks and crannies in a body more effectively than blue shop towels. I like to scuff bodies before I paint them and you can use green scotch bright or 1000 grit automotive style sandpaper. If you do elect to scuff your body you will need window masks to prep your body. I like to use Simple Green then Glass Cleaner to clean my bodies because it seems that I get less problems with hazing than when I clean bodies with dish soap. The first step in cleaning is to thoroughly spray the interior of the body down with Simple Green and then using a white kitchen paper towel very thoroughly wipe and scrub the interior of the body making sure to get into all of the nooks and crannies. The second step is to thoroughly spray the interior of the body with glass cleaner. Then scrub and wipe the entire interior of the body with white kitchen paper towels making sure to get all of the nooks and crannies. I let the body sit for at least a half hour to let any of the leftover glass cleaner evaporate away. At this point in time you can begin masking the body if you like. I like to scuff the interior of the body because I feel it helps the paint stick to the body and it reduces hazing when you are painting detail work. Because I like to leave my windows clear, I apply the window mask before scuffing. I prefer to use green scotch bright to scuff the body and I find it is handier to use if you cut it into strips. Cutting scotch bright will mess up your scissors, so make sure to use some old crappy scissors that you can allocate to only cutting scotch bright. Very simply, scuff the interior of the body with your preferred abrasive until the entire body has a nice white haze to it. When done scuffing, blow the interior of the body off with compressed air, re-clean the body with glass cleaner, let the body air dry for at least a half hour, and then when you're not working on the body, store it in the plastic bag that it came in to keep it as dust free as possible. The downside to scuffing your body is, it's highly likely that you're going to have to remake your window masks. The reason you want to go through all of this trouble is that it will significantly reduce the chances of paint not sticking to the body and it will also significantly reduce the chances of getting hazing when painting detail work. It has been scientifically proven that by subscribing to this channel, you'll become marginally less marginal. Bye!